here we are. We're going to make some ribs. Uh, I've done the first couple racks, and the first thing you're going to do after you rinse it off is take this membrane off. Sometimes this can be a bit of a process. Other times it works easier than others. So we're going to see how it works this time. A little napkin, once you get it started, you can grab a hold of that. It can sometimes help you with the process of getting it off. It helps you grip it a little better. I must say, most of this is coming off pretty well. I'll say, add a little bit more up at the top here. Let's see. This is the uh, sometimes the most tedious part of the whole thing. But so let's see if we can get the end of this off of here. That's part one. All right, next thing, after you get the membrane pulled off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all these racks of ribs in half, just because it fits a little better uh, on the rib rack I use. And so I just try to get it as close to half as is possible here. And, um, so we'll just wind up with six half racks of ribs. So once you get those cut apart here, then you're, um, Ready to start doing the? Yeah, I need to try to park there. Ready to start doing the um, the rub, which uh, I'll do that here in just a second. Yeah. All right. Next thing we're going to do here is add in a little bit just to hold the rub on a bit. We're going to add in a little bit of barbecue sauce here. It's kind of a thin layer. Uh, Got to spread all that around here. And. Uh, this kind of helps to less less some skills there. This is gonna have, kind of help to hold the rub on just a little bit. And you won't really wind up tasting this at all. But it just kind of helps hold the rub on. And so then you apply the dry rub, uh, which this is a a mixture we make. I can't give all those secrets I, away, but she's having trouble doing that. I can't. I'll show you what it looks camera. like afterwards. All right, so I've done both sides now, and you got a nice layer of the dry rub on here. And at this point, I just go ahead and very carefully, as I can, set it in the rib rack. Sometimes these guys want to slide around when they're in there, um, and you're going to lose the rub, but that's okay. Right before I put them on the smoker, I'll, I'll, I'll sprinkle a little bit more rub on there. So I'll do that with the other pieces of ribs, and then we'll check in again here. All right, now we're to the fun part, the lighting of the fire. Uh, this is one of the, what are they, Weber, I think, uh, starter cubes. And these work great. I just kind of set that down there in the middle. We'll uh, our match here. Theoretically, this should light right up. Let's put it on there. Yep, there it goes. All right, so once that gets lit, um, if you're doing a, a, a low and slow smoking kind of thing, you don't want to put it all the way to the bottom. Um, you want to kind of set it near the, nearer the top of the coals um, so the fire stays more in control. But uh, So we'll kind of get that stacked around there. And then these are apple chunks. And we will put a few of those in there. So they've been soaked in water for a couple hours. And these are hickory chips that I just dipped in some water here. So we will uh, just kind of position those around in various spots. You don't need a ton of chips and chunks for ribs because they're not that thick of a piece of meat. This is my little engineered um, heat deflector. It's basically a, a grill grate with a pizza stone on there. Set that in there. And it obviously has been used a few times. And then we will, oh, I forgot this. Uh, put the grill, for, for this grill, put the bottom vent on one and the top vent on one to get the fire started. Put that on there. And set our vent here to one. And now we'll just let the smoker get up to temperature and we'll be ready to put the ribs on. All right, here we are. Time to put the ribs on the smoker here. Uh, the smoker is caught good. We're going to go ahead and let these guys start cooking here. So let's see. Let's do it like this. Put it on here. 
down here. And I'm gonna get it centered up. And uh, there you go. And I will let that sit for just under three hours, and then we'll do the next stage. All right, it has been a little bit under three hours. Temperature is holding a little under 250 on the grill. And let's see what we got here. There we go. I'll pick these up and I will take those inside for the next step, which I'll show you, but I'll get my lovely assistant to close the lid. All right, we brought the ribs in. Uh, this is the last one I'm going to do. The baby's crying in the background. Don't pay no attention to that. But first thing we do is we put a little coat of honey on there. <laughs> She's not too pleased. Okay, and then that's normally what all I do, but I've tried something new today. We're gonna see how this works. Adding here with the foil a little bit of apple juice. Kind of steaming in there with the not only just the honey with the apple juice too. So we're gonna see how that does as well. So I'll wrap this guy up and put him back on the grill and I'll Check in later. Here we go. Putting them back on the the uh, grill here for a little while, and you know these. Obviously, you're just using the heat in here for this section, so you don't really have to worry about uh, spacing them out or anything. They just need to all kind of get in there one way or another. So put them in there, and they'll be in there for a little less than two hours. All right. Here we go. Pulled off the uh, smoker here after being in the foil for a little under two hours. And so now you just very carefully, because it's very hot, try to do this without searing yourself. Oh wow, this one's definitely falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much falling apart. Uh, that happens sometimes, that's nice to say that. Um, maybe the difference an extra five minutes made right there. Uh, um. Alright, and we're going to very carefully yeah, without scalding ourselves, because it is quite hot, find a way to, there we go, let's get it in there, and now I'll put them back on the smoker, just like this, on the rib rack for about another 30 to 40 minutes or so, somewhere thereabouts. So. Alright, here we go, uh, the ribs were on the grill about another half hour or so, uh, then I took them off. And they've been resting now for a little less than a half hour, thereabouts. So, and we are ready to go. Let's just pick this one. You made a lot of them. Did you know that we were going to eat them? I figured you might eat them. So you found a lot. Let's see what Instead we got of just here. three. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it's slipping around. It's cutting very easily. Let's see. Oh, looks like some pretty good color here. Let's see. Yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's cut one from this end. Let's see which end's better. It looks so good. There you go. Yeah, good good yes. color there. Alright. There it is. We'll see how they eat, but I bet they're going to taste pretty good.